Now let's continue documenting our detail design and we're gonna start by adding some labels. So I'm gonna go here to the label tool and there are two methods to add label. One where we label some elements in ARCHICAD and another, let's say, a freestanding label method. So I'm gonna choose this freestanding one for now. And label works this way. You just click where you wanna add the label, add the text that you want, and then click outside to confirm. Now I can use the arrow tool to select this label and use one of those points to move it around. So I can move where I want this node, I can move where I want the text, I can even move where I want to point at. Now let's take a look on the settings for this label. So if I go here to the settings, first we have the type and preview. We're going to be looking at this in a little bit. Uh, then we can change settings for the text style. I think three is too much. I'm going to change it to two. You have some other settings here for text, like alignment, if you want to frame around. Opening here the pointer, you can choose the kind of line for this pointer. So for instance, I can choose one of the hidden lines. You can choose the pen set. You can choose where you want the text to be on the pointer. So you can have the line on the middle like here. I quite like to have the line under the text. You can choose if you want a straight pointer or a curved one. And then you can also choose the angle of this pointer. So for instance, I'm gonna put 45 here. And you could also lock this angle so it doesn't change. And then finally, you can choose the arrowhead. I'm gonna go for a lighter arrowhead here and then press OK. So as you can see now, we have the hidden line, we have the 45 degrees. You can add as much text as you want here inside. So it's a really good way to add more information to your plans. I use them a lot in the sections and a lot in the details. Now let's take a look on the other method of labeling. So I'm gonna go back to the label tool and instead of freestanding, I'm gonna choose this first option here. So right now we're gonna be labeling elements. And as I pass the mouse here, you will notice that ARCHICAD is showing me what it will be adding the label to. So I'm gonna click on this wall and then right now it's giving me an option for the text. So let's add here the stonework again. But instead of the text, I could go here to the label type and change from text to the ID. So now the, the label is showing me the ID of this wall. And if I, for any reason, change the ID for another number, the label will follow. So there are some other kind of labels. So if I go back here to the label tool, control T to go to the settings and go to the type and preview, we have label for ID, for the unique ID, some other categories, composite name. So let's try this composite name for now. I will add a frame around the label and go to custom settings to see what else we have. So we have some other options here. And on the second part, I can choose how we want this frame to look like. So we have a couple of geometries here. So I'm gonna choose this pointed rectangle for now. And I know this distance is gonna be too much. So I'm gonna change it for 10, press okay. And now let's label this wall. It came flipped, so I'm gonna select this label, go back to the settings, custom settings. And I know here on the first option, there is a flip label option. Press okay, there we go. Now the label is showing me what is this wall profile. So if I click here and change the composite to, let's say WF11, the label will follow. But I'm gonna undo that because I don't want it. There is also another quite useful label, which is the skin list label. So I'm not gonna go into the settings, I'm just gonna press okay and label something here. It's also flipped, so I'm gonna go to the settings, choose flip label, okay. And as you can see now, this label is actually giving me all the skins of this composite. So I have 150 millimeters of concrete block, airspace, and then to stonework. And of course, if we change this skin to something else, the label will follow. It looks a little bit messy here, but I just wanna show the idea of this label. So labels are really useful and really smart tools that you can use to show and add more information to your project.